Tyrant here. I just finished watching the latest episode of My First Girlfriend is a Gal. And it was one of the most cringiest and censored episodes I have seen yet. Uh, compared to like episode 1, episode 1 was pretty cringy. Uh, because you ha I had to get my mindset in the what the show was trying to be, what its premise was, and what it was trying to entail. And this episode... Well, it was pretty gringy in the sense that, uh, let's see, well, let's begin. Uh, well, Nene, as we've all n known, has feelings for, damn, what's his name? The main guy, the main guy. And she literally changes from the, the brown-haired girl, and she actually, uh, well, changes her style. And actually is that pink girl, which I was wondering when she was going to actually appear. And I thought she was going to be a new character added, but no, it is a transition of her, her style, her image, and even her mannerisms because she's trying to encompass what a gal is. And that's what made it cringy because she was trying to be something she's normally not. And when you are entering a culture or a subculture of something like that it's it's something you would normally just uh take it take it upon yourself to slowly um what's the best way to say it to kind of blend yourself with this culture and it was cringy when she was even though i i know there's some uh spoken mannerisms when you when uh is spoken in Japanese there's something said a little differently uh, just reading the text was like okay wow okay cringy but it's also the most censored because uh, throughout the, throughout the pacing of this episode was her kind of really being clingy and oh god his friends because it was starting slow a little bit actually no it started really hard pun intended there and then it, slowed down a little bit with his friends I was like huh what's happening here to her and his girlfriend and, oh god it really really puts together what's happening here um, I'm glad they also made a nod to what happened last episode with Kashi-san if I remember correct uh, and making sure that's still a thing happening but it's uh, it's moving re reasonably well but it, it got heated really fast. When I was saying it got censored hardcore, it got censored hardcore. In the middle of the episode, in the middle of the night, when he's thinking of why, what's happening, his why his, has his day been like this, uh, Nene actually shows up in his room naked, wanting to sleep with him. This was getting close to soft porn slash hentai status. And like, whoa. And censorship was everywhere. Like, everywhere like I would that's how bad it got uh, and um, but you could from from this scene you can tell that she really has some strong feelings for him but all and he had some inner fights with himself and but you can start seeing that he's actually starting to understand why he's actually he's starting to what I say love maybe with Yamisan he's starting to be more in touch with his own feeling instead of just his libido there you go that's the best way to take this um so uh it it's it's it was actually a really good episode for being so cringy and censored uh but at the end you know she's nene did not back down he, well not not during that scene she kind of backed down and understood what was happening but but what was good at the end, like the final scenes, was that she's willing to actually try to fight for him. And we'll see how that turns out. And they do a nod. Like, what is this, a romantic comedy? Yep, I'll take it. Uh, that weird little scene where that's all folks did not find that. I found it <laughs> cheesily hilarious, but uh, please no, please no. Um, but, but that's what I thought about this episode. It was... um. It was fun. It's it's really bringing everything together. Now, I think most of the main characters have been established properly. Uh, we'll see what happens from there. But those were my thoughts of this episode. Um, so, thanks for watching. Until next time.